What's going on everyone, Jack here from Half Chrome, and today I've got a really interesting drone. This is the SJRC F7, and it is a foldable drone with a 4K camera on a three axis gimbal. Uh, and it's about $200, actually it's about 230 right now. It's really nice to see drone manufacturers producing affordable drones uh, with cameras on actual gimbals. I do like electronic image stabilization, but you really can't beat a real gimbal. Now the specs on this thing are awesome. How does it actually perform? Well, stay tuned. Okay, this is really interesting. It's kind of like a, a Phantom style, uh, but it folds kind of like a Mavic, right? So uh, to me, this really looks a lot like the MJX Bugs 20. And the MJX Bugs 20 is a drone that it probably should be compared to. This is an affordable 4K drone uh, for about $200. So if you're considering the F7 here, then you're probably considering the Bugs 12, the Bugs 20, or the Bugs 16. Now the Bugs 16, like this guy, is the only one with a three axis gimbal in the same price range. This drone does have some really impressive specs. It has a three kilometer range. That's uh, about 1.8 miles or so. Um, and that's because you can connect to the remote control and works as a repeater. Uh, so that's kind of nice. It also has a 25 minute flight time right which you know is on par with some of those other drones because this is made by sjrc i suspect to see a bunch of clones of this coming out on amazon at slightly higher prices so if you see something like this uh, on amazon at a higher price chances are it was made by sjrc they have a history of producing drones for other companies that will then rebrand and resell so let me talk about the things that I like about this drone, starting with the controller. It has a nice feel. Your phone goes up top. Uh, we've got dedicated buttons, uh, camera, photo, uh, stop, return to home. Pretty standard foldable remote. It does come with a carrying case, uh, which I do like that it does. I'm not a big fan of cases in this style, but it works. Um, it actually fits pretty conveniently, and there's room for other stuff in here, which I do enjoy. So let's talk about the drone itself. We've got 1806 brushless motors, which is nice, helps with the efficiency and the long flight time. So kudos for SJRC for coming up with something slightly different. Uh, this camera is huge. It looks like it could be a monster sensor, but it isn't. The camera does sit on isolation mounts, so that is nice. It does claim electronic image stabilization to go along with this three axis gimbal, and it does a really nice job of smoothing out any shakes and jitters, and you know, I wasn't getting any jello. The SD card goes right into the camera here, and you're gonna want to use that, right? That's where you're gonna get your 4K recordings. It will record 720 videos on your phone. It has a handful of intelligent flight modes. There is an orbit mode that works pretty well fairly easy to use. There is a follow me, a GPS follower. It's basically following the uh, remote controller or the GPS on your phone. So you send it up, you have full control of the drone while it's following you. You can move the gimbal up and down while it's doing so. Works pretty well. So with a follow me feature like this, you just have to work a little bit harder to make sure that whatever you're following usually yourself because you have to have the remote control is in the center of the frame. But it is nice that you can kind of control the drone as you see, kind of move up and then uh, pan down to keep myself in the center. Now there is an optical follow me, but I just couldn't get it to work. No matter how hard I tried, it just never tracked any subjects for me. You can zoom in and out with this drone, but it is of course a digital zoom, uh, not the best. I'm gonna use it here to see if the, they caught anything, but mm, it's kind of hard to tell as it's not a real zoom. 11.1, 2600 milliamp hour battery. Now this thing takes six and a half hours to charge. Yeah, it uh, it does not charge up super quickly. So if you're thinking about getting one or two batteries or three batteries, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. It just charge via USB-C, same with the remote controller. Uh, so that's nice, but it takes for freaking ever. It is moderately stable. I would say on par with drones in this price range and class and the return to home work fairly well. But let's talk about the camera. I just was super unimpressed with the video coming out of this thing. Actually, I think this is probably at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to comparable drones. I take pretty much anything from MJX over this, the Bugs 12, the Bugs 20, the Bugs 16, all hands down better cameras than this. You know, and it's suffering from a low frame rate. Uh, it's 4K. 
4K, right? I'm guessing it's upscaled 4K. It's 4K at 15 frames a second, which is pretty poor. You got a write speed of 15 megabits per second, which is just kind of poor, right? So don't expect high quality images coming out of this thing. I feel that the uh, the saturation is too high. It's just not sharp. It just doesn't look good to me. I think there are plenty of better options. In fact, I think SJRC makes better options or at least better camera. As a drone itself, it's okay. Um, you know, my first couple of flights, it was a little bit glitchy. It doesn't stop super quick. Uh, so it tended to float a little bit on me. And actually, I, uh, I did crash this thing once. Uh, so there's that. But yeah, it's, it's just not where it needs to be. I was super excited about this drone. It has some really awesome specs, but when it comes down to it, the camera was probably the most disappointing. It has some neat things. You know, it has some cool filters and things like that, but at the end of the day, I want to take good quality pictures and video, and you're not going to get it out of this. Now, I'm not expecting the world out of a drone that's just over $200, but there are better options out there in terms of camera quality. I like that SJRC is making something different. And I think if they were to use a better camera in here, this thing could be really good. But at the end, they cheaped out on the camera. And to me, that's the most important thing on a drone is the actual camera. So you can't cheap out on the camera and expect to have a hot seller on your hands. It's just not going to happen. People want quality and this just isn't it. So I think in the end, the SJRC F7 misses the mark, and I would absolutely go with the MJX Bugs 16 Pro instead. It also has a three axis gimbal, and no, it's not professional grade quality, but still hands down better than this guy. So that's my take. Uh, what do you think? What do you think about the SJRC F7? Am I off base? Did I hit it, or was I on? Let me know in the comments down below, what would you get if you had $240 to spend? Would you get this, or would you get something else? You know, I don't think it's fair to compare it to something like the Mavic Mini because one, it's a more expensive drone, and two, it's just in another class. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. If not, give us a thumbs down. Tell us what we did wrong, and we'll try to do better next time. Make sure you check us out on halfchrome.com. We've got a whole bunch of social media for you guys to follow. Make sure you check out our live streams, and if you want a free drone, you're going to have to get in on our Patreon. Link's down below. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.